Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf and I'm here with Deborah Allen. And I have got to say, you have done so much with your career. Is there anything you can't do? I mean, you act and, and you, you sing and you write and you just do everything. And I hear that you had a friend with Shel Silverstein. Oh yeah, well, first of all, thank you so much for having yes. me here, Missy. I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm so in awe of where I'm sitting right now. You guys have no idea how excited I am to talk to her. Well, thank you, I'm excited to talk to you too. Okay. Thank you for all those kind words. You know, you know, really I think of myself as a songwriter mm -hmm. first and foremost, because luckily when I was 18 years old, mm -hmm. you mentioned Shell, you know, yes. he was one of my earliest mentors. And uh, really, I just fell into a nest of some of the most wonderful big brothers on the planet, right, right. Shel Silverstein, Curly Putman, who we just mm -hmm. lost, um, Bobby Braddock, Rafe Van Hoy, Don Cook, you know, the list goes on and right. on. People yeah. that I learned from throughout the years, right. Gary Burr, just all kinds of great people. Sonny Throckmorton, wow. um, you know, they, they were like my big brothers, Guy Clark, Susanna Clark, you know, wow. I, I just feel so blessed that I wound up in Nashville when right, I did. Right. I kind of feel like I got in on the tail end <laughs> of old school. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. And, and, and before, you know, all the big, huge changes that some people are not happy with, some are, you know, but yeah. it, it's always, I mean, the world is always changing. Music yes, is always changing. Absolutely. It's always growing. It is. But, but you have a career that I think a lot of people would envy. You've gotten to experience so much in, in such a short time, really. And, well, and <laughs> Thank you for saying that. I, I, think it, I, I think it's, I mean, seriously, and it's just, I'm amazed by it because I, I you know, I, I spoke to somebody not too long ago and she's done so many different things too. And I think, I'm just doing this. How do you have time? How well, you've done so many things. What you're doing is so important. <laughs> you know, I mean, what you're doing is helping everybody get their music and their message out there. Right, so, right. you know, and uh, so I totally appreciate what you're doing absolutely, very much. Absolutely. But, you. you know, I started when I was 18 years old mm -hmm. in Nashville. So I've been here for quite a while, right. you know. I mean, I was telling my husband, Raymond Hicks, who my husband was actually um, Mel Tillis's first tour manager. And he was oh, wow. with the Oak Ridge Boys for years. Right. He's worked with Hank Jr. Mm -hmm. and all these people you know throughout the years but I was telling him I said you know I never did stop to uh, celebrate my 10 year 20 year 25 year right. 30 year anniversary right. you know in the music business it's just gone by in a blink of an eye right. it Absolutely. really has well and th they say that time flies when you're having fun yeah, right really and, and when you're having fun it's not like you're doing a day of work in your life so not it, at all it, it's great it's it, awesome it, it's it's such a blessing really you know I mean Music is a blessing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Definitely. we get so wound up in our world. And even right. just preparing for the show tonight, when I was kind of running through some of my songs at home, mm -hmm. I started feeling good. I was going, man, it just right. feels good to do music. Right. It really I, does. Absolutely, absolutely. I often say, you know, I, I live life in lyrics so, man, so much of the time because there's always a song for every mood, every, every situation you're yes. going through, you know? Yes. So really, I mean, music is definitely life. And it really does step in where your, your own personal words fail you know we look to the songwriters and you're a brilliant songwriter you've written so many amazing songs well, and thank you I appreciate that and like I said uh, early on I have had the the honor and distinct um, privilege of mm -hmm. learning from some of the best right. you know when I first moved to town I, I just gravitated towards tree publishing and that's where some of my favorite mm -hmm. songwriters were and I was just sort of adopted as their little sister that's and uh, it was so funny I, I've told my husband Raymond before I said you know when I first started out I felt like and sometimes I still feel this way like I was in this big barrel and all my friends were up at the top going <laughs> come on up you can make right, it right, oh. you know so it's just really that's what I love about Nashville uh, especially back then, uh, it's just a, such a place of right. great camaraderie and encouragement. Mm -hmm. You know, Definitely. I feel like when people here really see you trying mm -hmm. to live your dreams and they see your dedication, right. you know, they'll, they'll lend a yeah, hand and help absolutely. you out. So I, I just, I've been very fortunate and it's something I try to pass along to. I think that's great. And, and you're right. Everybody helps everybody here. And, you know, you realize how, how big of a small world it is. It is. I mean, it, it's something that blows my mind all the time. You'll be talking to somebody and you'll mention a name and then they come up with some random story or exactly. something. And you're like, wow, wait, you know about that? Or, I know. You know, it's, it's, it's really fun. It's exciting. But we're all here tonight for the Hank Cochran um, Pen Fund, yes. which is a benefit for pancreatic cancer. So right. what, what does it mean to you to be a part of this night? Because for p people who don't know, pancreatic cancer is one of the worst cancers you can be diagnosed with. And, you know, there 
really isn't any early detection for it and it's just it's it's hard it's, it's devastating to a lot of families it's and, heartbreaking and, uh, mm -hmm. we uh, experienced it firsthand with one of our dearest friends he was a very uh, influential person here in town mm -hmm. uh, he was with ASCAP he was responsible for helping um, Don Schlitz get the gambler to Kenny mm -hmm. Rogers you know he oh, was wow. a song person and I'm talking about our good friend Merlin Littlefield okay. and you know Merlin was just so big and gregarious and so right. full of life you know you would never think of Merlin uh, being right. sick but right. suddenly right. he started losing weight mm -hmm. and then you know we got the news he told us you know what he right. was facing and you know it went pretty quickly it was right. just so sad you feel so helpless Definitely. because you want to do something exactly. but the only thing you can really do is pray you pray for your yes. friend and you pray for the doctors to hopefully hopefully right. find an answer right. and a solution to you know Ab this absolutely problem because we do lose a lot of people to it and it's, mm -hmm. it's so hard and Hank you know Hank I loved Hank Hank, yes. going back to people, uh, helping people here in town, mm -hmm. you know, when I first, well, I lived here at 18, then I went out to California for a while to do a TV show, mm -hmm. Right. then I moved back to Nashville. When that sort of dissolved, I went, right. do I want to stay in L.A. or do I want to move back to Nashville? And I said to myself, hey, if I stay in L.A. and things don't go great, I'll be a speck of dust. But no matter what happens to me in Nashville, I got people that love me there. Absolutely. So good I, choice. Yeah. I Definitely back, a good choice. Yes. I came <laughs> back home and uh, actually was invited to come stay with Jeannie Seeley in a, a house that used to belong to, maybe even at that point, mm -hmm. did belong to Hank Cochran. Oh, wow. And so I got to stay there and I called that home. But I saw Hank a lot. He would... Uh, come, you know, and I've known Hank as a songwriter, mm -hmm. one of those one of those mentors that I right. uh, failed to mention a minute ago because he was such a huge influence. One of my favorite songs is uh, the song that he wrote for Jeannie, uh, um, Don't Touch Me. I love that song. <laughs> what a great song. But, you know, just to see someone so full of life and so funny, right. this man was funny and mm -hmm. talented. Yes. And, and, you know, and now we, he's gone. But the thing that I think is pretty special about tonight is the fact that you know we love Hank because he's right. such a great songwriter that that's why we're able to do right. this is because of his songs but what's so exciting to me about tonight is not mm -hmm. only are his songs living right. on but you know his legacy of yes. helping come up with a cure Absolutely. for pancreatic cancer and you right. know I believe that God has that in store for us. I believe uh, absolutely. that it will happen. Absolutely. And and just to be here to be able to spread awareness to people who don't know the statistics or don't, you know, they, they haven't had the experience of going through it. So to hear stories from other people and to feel compassionate towards what they go through and to be able to offer, you know, a way to help out, you know, it's, I think, I think causes like this are really, really great. So thank you for being a part of it. And mm -hmm. thank you so much for taking the time to talk, talk to us tonight. And is there anything else you want to Missy? tell anybody before we go? Uh, seriously, there anything else I want to tell you? I just love y'all. You know, I'm oh, just, hey, I'm you. just here to have a good time. And I liked it when you started it out and said, hey, we're just going to hang out yes, and talk. We yes. don't know where the conversation is yeah, going to go. Do you have anything you want to tell me? Mm, you know, I just moved back here oh, from okay. California. Okay. And that's why I said good choice. Yes. Um, I, I've escaped the craziness yeah. that I was living in in California. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, you know, for, for what you pay out there versus what you get here for the same amount is completely different and and the loyal friends that yes. you get here and i can i'm just going to tell you this right now the dress code tell at my me. daughter's school oh. i have to tell you we they grew up in southern california we lived in a beach city oh i would drop them off at school and see girls in booty shorts oh. and i'm like um <laughs> I, not I thinking that should be allowed and i don't understand why the parents are buying these clothes for their kid and so for me, it was really, really refreshing to come here, and it's like, okay, solid color, collared shirts, jeans, no yoga pants. I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes. So, hey, I will one. tell you something. Mm -hmm. I have a single, a video that's out right now on oh, iTube 24/7. Perfect. Dot com. Okay. And uh, it goes to like 190 um, countries in the world. Oh wow! It's it's an internet uh, streaming platform, mm -hmm. and. Um, so, and you can also get my new album, Hear Me Now, at DebraAllen.com. Perfect. Well, we're going to put all the links up for everybody, too. So awesome. Well, until next time, guys, stay tuned for more. <laughs>